so for part C, we're supposed to compare these variables to um, t sub d. And t sub d is 2 pi over omega d. That's 2 pi. And we have found omega d to be 600. And that is going to be 0 0.01047. If you do the math on that. So T3 minus T1 would be 0 0.01195 minus 0.00148. And that works out to be 0 0.01047. So that's part C. So in part D, we're asked to compare it to TD over 2. So TD over 2 is just going to be that value divided by 2, and that is 0 0.125235. And T2 minus T1 is 0 0.00672 minus 0 0.000148. That works out to be 0 0.0054, or whatever. It's, it's going to work out to be equal. So prove that part. <coughs> and part E asks us to evaluate the um, evaluate for the voltage at, at uh, those three times. So. V, so you simply put V of um, 1.48 millisecond, put that into the function 30 cosine 600 T T minus 800 T. That times E to the negative 800 T. So put in your T1s, that will give you negative 22.7 volts. V of T2 is equal to 6.72 millisecond. You should get 343.8 millivolts. V of T is equal to 11.95 milliseconds. Should give you negative 5.22 millivolts. Okay, so at 1.48 milliseconds, we're below we have dropped below the zero volts into the negative territory and um, slightly above in the positive territory for times six seconds and then down to negative 5.22 for, uh, for time is equal to 11 seconds. So your sketch roughly looks like this. <coughs> This is zero volts, 30 volts. So we know we start out at 30 volts. It's going to dip down and approach. Let's move out. This time goes dip down and approach zero volts. Okay, that concludes problem eight. Point fourteen. Um, make sure if you found this helpful that you subscribe. Uh, subscribers get to make requests of how these are going to be solved. Thanks.